Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. I know it's been chilly, I know it's been wet, but it's been a good day. Good day because we spent much of it uh, with the priests of the current deanery um, before too long uh, to be the new parish. As one was commenting, a real sense uh, of brotherhood, uh, of uh, the family, the presbyterate uh, of the priests and I'm very lucky in this deanery. Uh, there are real friendships and uh, a great sense of cooperation and a very positive sense of looking forward uh, to, to what would be possible uh, and how together uh, we can work for the good of the mission of the church in this area in collaboration with the various committees and uh, structures uh, that we have now and that can be evolved from them going into the future. In a sense, uh, that uh, continues this evening as we have, uh, the, as it happens, the St. Pius pastoral team. So an opportunity to reflect in one of the local communities, there will be 13 in all, in one of the local communities about how we ensure there that prayer, formation and mission remain very much the focus and the heart of it. As we come to this evening prayer, we come to be reminded, in a sense, as we listen to the words of the psalmist, that generation after generation who've paused and reflect and noticed have realised that presence of God in the world and in our lives and it's that which gives a confidence for the future. It's that which gave Mary confidence. It's that which enabled her to, to sing of that joy that she had in that relationship with the Lord. And so we walk in their footsteps, perhaps particularly in her footsteps this evening. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, <coughs> Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. <coughs> Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O strength and stay upholding all creation, who ever thus thyself unmoved abide, yet day by day the light in due gradation from hour to hour in all its changes guide. Grant to life's day a calm, unclouded ending, an eve untouched by shadows of decay, the brightness of a holy deathbed blending with dawning glories of the eternal day. Hear us, O Father, gracious and forgiving, through Jesus Christ, thy co-eternal word, who with the Holy Ghost, by all things living, now and to endless ages, art adored. 
the Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favour. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfil every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the king. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, from this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendour. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, and honour, and glory, and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children and that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. 
The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. Through Christ we are children of God. In him we see what we shall be when, the, when we come to the Father. With confidence we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide leaders and governments, give them wisdom and integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You are the Lord and source of our freedom. Bring those in captivity of mind or body to the freedom of the children of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give courage and strength to the young. Help them to choose their work and to make the right decisions for their way of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give patient tolerance to all who are no longer young. Open the hearts of the young to accept from them understanding and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive the departed into your eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Following the deanery meeting today, I'd like to give personal thanks for that my brother priests in this area and their great friendship and encouragement. Mary asks that we might offer thanksgiving prayers for positive results for Keith and thanksgiving to all who have been praying for him. Claire asks that we might uh, pray for Raymond to be discharged from the dementia unit, to go back home and to have the care he needs and to know that support of God. We continue our prayers that there might be peace in Ukraine, particularly in the light of the latest news. Peace too in Gaza. We pray the repose of the soul of Eddie Russell and of Baby Moss, whose funeral will be tomorrow at St. Edward's. We pray for all who are here. Uh, oh, sorry. First, we, we pray uh, for the MPs who will be uh, discussing the legislation Reflecting, please God, on the dignity of life as they decide on the possibility of assisted suicide. We pray for all those who've gone before us, marked with a sign of faith, especially those in the Book of Remembrance. We pray for the diocese. We pray for the pastoral team at St. Pius, and indeed for the pastoral teams in Cranley uh, and Hazelmere and Godalming as they meet this evening. Lord, the word who is life, may all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us, for you are Lord forever and ever.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, for bringing us safely to the evening of this day. We humbly ask that the prayer we make with uplifted hands may be an offering pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. And may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us. 